The Energy Environment and Sustainability stream is offered with both master's degrees in School of Public Affairs, the Master in Public Policy and the Master in European Affairs. It is a two-year course open to students with three years of higher education coming either from Sciences Po or other universities in France, in the EU or elsewhere in the world. For example, we have students coming from the USA, China, India and some Latin American countries. The policy stream is offered in, the, in English only and each court is made of 35 to 45 students. Students have a varied profile and come from a wide range of backgrounds, political science, economics, law, international relations, engineering, but also history and literature or languages. Uh, so I was at Sciences Po, uh, at Collège Universitaire, uh, at campus of Dijon. Uh, I did uh, economics and society track, and for my third year, uh, I went to Belgium, to Gau Leuven, uh, where I studied also energy and sustainability classes. So uh, for undergrad, I was at Sciences Po and La Sorbonne Paris 4. And uh, for my third year abroad, I was at the University of British Columbia, UBC, uh, in Vancouver, where I also did another dual bachelor program. In the policy stream Energy, Environment and Sustainability, you will learn to drive energy transition and sustainability. Our program is a unique interdisciplinary curriculum. You will learn about energy sectors, knowledge and know-how needed to understand and manage energy industries, policy innovation to regulate energy markets with the development of renewable energies, energy efficiency and energy demand management, and environmental and sustainability policies with a technical, economic and political point of view. You will also develop practical skills to design policy solutions to energy transition and sustainable development, both in the public and private sectors. The secret to change is to focus your energy on creating the new, not fighting the old. There were a couple of courses that I really liked uh, during my time at Sciences Po, during my master's program. Um, I think one was uh, titled uh, Climate and Environment Should We Rewrite History? I love that course. Uh, I still think about it to this day. And uh, you know that a course is a good one when years later you still think about it and you still try to find an answer to it. That was a good one. Another one was um, Energy Economics, um, taught by Sophie Merite. Um, and it's, I think I would always recommend this course for anyone who's interested in uh, energy and environment. It's kind of like a perfect Energy 101 course. It introduced me to so many key concepts, you know, energy intensity, energy balances, energy poverty, which is key to my job. So uh, that was a fantastic course. I guess the first course in, uh, in the first semester with uh, Michel Colombier uh, is, was one of, one of the best courses that I had uh, regarding EU ETS and regarding carbon pricing and it was like great introduction. Students from this policy stream find their job both in private and public uh, positions. Actually, two-thirds of the students, uh, of the graduates, uh, have a position in private companies. Um, and in terms of uh, operational focus, professional focus of, the, uh, of the, these uh, positions, uh, I can name uh, en the energy sector uh, and its regulation, and also the energy transition and uh, the ecological transition more broadly. Let me explain that, for instance, on uh, the energy sector, students and graduates uh, find their jobs in private companies uh, like the large historical uh, utilities, the French uh, EDF or NG, for instance, or in uh, more innovative or smaller companies of renewable energies. Uh, but they also find jobs in the uh, national or European scale regulators like the National Commission on the Regulation of Energy or uh, the National Network of uh, Electricity Distribution in France, for instance, but also in other, in other countries. And they can also find jobs in, in local authorities. On the issue of energy transition, and I would say more broadly ecological transition, uh, the, the, the buzzword for me is that our students are becoming change makers. Change makers from within, within the energy companies, or externally, uh, within consultancies that accompany these companies towards uh, the transformation to sustainability, but also in the whole continuum between think tanks, NGOs, uh, or public authorities, um, I would name, for instance, the Fondation Schumann or IDRI, um, and some of them also are into politics. So they work with uh, members of parliament, members of the, of the European Parliament uh, as assistants. And this is the whole scale of uh, the, the types of careers uh, that this policy stream can lead you to. Uh, I reached the opportunity to work for Euractiv, 
uh, and I treat uh, energy and climate uh, related problematics in, in my country, so in B4 region. So if I can help uh, my region to make green transition and make good energy policies in the future, I think that would be the best achievement for me. Uh, currently, uh, I work as uh, an advisor to the managing director of the International Finance Corporation, the IFC, uh, which is the private sector arm of the World Bank Group. Um, and in my portfolio, I focus primarily on climate. Um, so it's really fitting um, and it's definitely a, a natural progression and evolution from uh, my degree at Sciences Po uh, with the policy stream on energy, environment and sustainability. Sciences Po.